This is Twit. As I told everybody at the beginning of the year, I'm trying to find apps that do things that I need. And so one of those apps I was looking for is a an app to video editing app, something that I could use to edit video on the go, to make, you know, little Instagram videos for stories, to make little social media videos as I need. And so I discovered video editor and photo editor by InShot to be kind of one of the ones that gave me exactly what I wanted and didn't cost too much. So it's free to totally try out but there are a lot of ads in it, which could really annoy you. So you're going to want to pay a little bit to kind of get rid of those ads. And uh, things cost like you can pay $2 to get rid of the ads and then $2 per each like pack because, you know, like photo and video editing apps, there are different parts of the app that you can unlock or you can pay for an annual uh, membership fee like you would on some other apps to kind of unlock everything. I just paid for it as I needed. So, but I'm finding that it does everything that I needed to do, which is easily stitch together videos. It lets you, so, uh, yes. So you can go through the timeline, easily stitch together videos, add multiples. You can add, you can do filters and effects. So if you want to add little effects to your videos, um, and then you can apply that to all the different, uh, clips that you have going uh, one at a time. You can also crop the video. So if you shot it in, let's see, sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to guide Jason while watching him on the camera. (laughs) Sorry, I'm just having fun applying weird effects and stuff. All right, then I'll, then I'll just talk about it. So yeah, yeah, you can crop the video as you need. So if you end up taking a video vertically, you can crop it into a square so it can fit on Instagram or however you want. Uh, You can add all sorts of cool effects. You can increase the speed of the video if, You know, you want to do a time lapse. You want it to go fast. Uh, It's a really easy video trimmer. It's super easy to share and save. It's super easy to add your own music as you need. It accepts all sorts of different audio files, including MP3s and M4As. These are all the different ones that I've used. Uh, And I just, I really am just happy that I found an easy to use video editing app for Android it's not too, you know, it's not too, it's not invasive in any way, except for the ads that pop up. But, you know, you've got a slow-mo video mode on there. If you want to use it, you've got this cool, like, you know, was the mirror effect. And I just, I'm having a lot of fun with this app. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a couple of these videos over the last week. Uh, cause I was playing around with some of the Samsung footage that I took and, uh, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun using this app this year to make my social media a little more dynamic, so to speak. I like it. So, it's a, it, oh, it also does photo editing, which I don't use it for photo editing, but if you wanted to pop photos in there as part of your video, you could. There, perfect for Instagram, right? Because Instagram exactly. only lets you do square things. Yeah. yeah. No, wait a minute. They stopped doing that a long time ago. No, uh, no, no. You still have to do a square for an Instagram post. You want it long ways if you're doing a story. Oh. But you can. You don't have to do square though, right? No. And actually they have uh, pre-made ratios for all the major social networks. So Instagram, IGTV, YouTube, Musical.ly, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, whatever you're using. Um, there's also borders and a no crop. And you don't have to worry about a watermark, which is one thing that I found existed on a lot of video apps that I was downloading. Yes, on the store. absolutely. And it doesn't crash either. This app has not crashed on me. <laughs> oh, but you will have to pay to get rid of some things again, as I mentioned. But as I always say, support your devs because this is a lot of development to make an app like this to run well on a smartphone and to be effective. Well, that's so, interesting. You know. So if you want to remove this watermark, you hit it. You can remove permanently for $3 or you can do a free remove by watching an ad. So see, there yeah, are ways nice. to do it's, it for free. Exactly. Uh, if, and there you if you go. only want to use it once in a while, for instance. Yep. Very cool. I love it. Uh, video editor and photo editor by InShot. InShot, I believe, is not the, the most name. nice name. Well, but... InShot, I think, is the name. It's always yeah. funny to me how they how they do their titles in the Play Store. I think Store. It's, like it's like SEO in the Play yeah. Store. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Totally, totally. But the app is called InShot, and look for it to edit your videos.